Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. In this video, we are going to install Lay2 switch in GNS3 environment and in VMware environment. But this switch works as Lay3 as well. So we are going to go for GNS3.com site. Click on Marketplace over there. Over here, you can see appliances click on appliances here you can uh, get everything you can get everything we are going to go for Cisco iOS virtual appliance for layer 2 and that means for switch appliance here click on download okay it's been downloaded click on show all here it's already downloaded open up a new browser and go to google.com and search for virtual appliances for lay2 images all right go to github right click on it and open a new tab here you can see that uh, okay there's a file just click on it click on download for virtual appliance later switch okay scroll down a little bit um, scroll down a little bit again scroll down scroll down and then okay there okay the download switch iOS click on it wait for a while over here okay retrying just click on download okay wait okay it's been downloading you can see that and it's already downloaded yeah what we can do now okay it's already downloaded uh, I have got a folder over here in my desktop uh, there there are two files uh, one is for virtual appliance template so open up GNS3 uh, actually I have already downloaded those files I just wanted to show you where it, uh, from where you can download it so wait for a while if you don't get any uh, any of those files just let me know alright you can email me uh, just like that you can email me and I'm going to send you uh, the link for those files for layer 2 and that means uh, for switch switch integration within GNS3 okay it's loading alright here minimize it okay write it anything okay DTL the Turing lecture okay all right click on file uh, just wait for a while. click on file and you go for import appliances over there so go to desktop there's my folder and select this file and click on open all right just click on next and next again and next again done just like that right select it uh, it's ready to install just um yeah click on drop down list oh, okay click on next and click on yes all right okay click on next again click on next again and uh, yeah everything is done just click on finish and click on okay that's all uh, all right uh, the file is uh, the name of the file was previously installed so I'm going to change the name of the file click on ok again ok so click on switches here you can see that uh, the previous file name I'm going to delete it remove it so this is my new file okay just drag and drop here you can see it's turned off okay right click on it and start so it's green now right click on it and again open up console that means you can 
actually configure this switch. This switch actually works uh, works as layer 3 switch and it can work as layer 2 switch as well. That means it can work as a router and a switch. Yeah, that's cool. So it's, yeah, just enable. We are in privilege mode, configure terminal. Here, host name, switch one. All right, do show spanning tree. Here you can see that uh, spanning tree information over here. All right, interface gigabit zero slash zero. No switch port, turning on the interfaces. And we are going to assign IP address on this interface. All right, we have assigned 191.68.1.1.255. No shutdown, turn on the interface. Do show IP interface brief. And voila, we have assigned an IP address on switch interface. That means it can work as a router as well as it can work as a switch. So VLANs, you can see the VLAN details over here. Click on exit. Okay, type in exit of VLAN 10. We can create VLANs. See, I'll just click, okay, type exit, sorry. To show VLAN brief. Okay, you can see the VLAN information. We have created VLAN 10 successfully. And uh, name that VLAN 10 IT show do show VLAN brief and voila we have successfully created VLAN as well that means we can uh, that means we can assign IP address we can create VLANs name VLANs anything we can do just like a layer 3 switch multi layer switch stop it and close it it's done totally fine thanks for watching guys for me, more videos, subscribe it. Thanks for watching. The next video is related to ASA, Cisco ASA integration in GNS3. Thank you.